my creatives and welcome to another video so today i'm here to share a travelers notebook junk journal with me and i'm using my own designed kit today you can get on patreon it is a patreon exclusive and the theme this month was mixed media so if you are interested my patreon link is down below in the description box but now let's go on to some journaling so i had this amazing journaling session yesterday i created three junk journal pages so stay tuned for that i had a lot of fun journaling and this was my first page that I created so it was more of a warming up page for my creative session I was just having so much fun and enjoying myself and feeling no pressure at all which was very very good so uh, I'm going to use my own mixed media kit today and I just wanted to create a fun collage so I decided to take this of the one of the background papers and just rip it up and uh, I wanted to create a little bit more contrast on that page so I decided to take that blue painty paper that I created with the doodly <laughs> borders and I'm going to cut out a strip of one and a half inch to stick it um, around the spine area so that I have this contrast between the leafy green uh, paper and that bright blue paper. Now, the green paper isn't big enough for my journal, so I was thinking about how I want to fix that so this whole page will be covered. But first of all, I'm going to stick on this uh, strip of paper. And I really, really love that blue color, of course. And you know I love blue. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to stick that other paper down as well. And this page, just this spread was so intuitive. I just went for it. And if I didn't like it, I just took it off. And if I liked it, I just stuck it down. So it was very, very fun and very freeing to create this page. And uh, uh, my mindset has improved a lot uh, about me being creative and just doing my thing you know and not think too much about it so at first i thought i wanted to add some washi tape there on with the space there was nothing uh, but later on you will see that i'm not going that i'm not liking it and i'm just going to take it off now this kit also has some 3x4 cards and I really really wanted to use some of them. Uh, in the end I didn't uh, because I didn't want to make it any more difficult for myself than <laughs> just you know going for it. So I, I didn't feel like doing any flips or anything like that. So I decided to keep them for another project. As you see I took off the washi tape and I'm just going to take a corner from another piece of paper. Then I'm going to stick down there and now I have my background ready. So this kit has uh, mixed media papers that were hand painted by me and I scanned them into my computer and I did all the things and I also created some of these elements on Procreate um, and other ways <laughs> uh, to make sure that you could collage more with this. So my previous kits were more, I guess, creative journaling kind of thing or memory keeping kind of thing. And um, for this one, I really wanted to focus on art journaling or collaging. So as you can see, I created that cluster on the top with a couple of the pieces and I'm just gluing things down when I'm liking it. I also added some words phrases in this kit and this one says it's all about the process and take a breath because that is a reminder that I need for myself right now that I need to remember that it's all about the process and not about the end result. And once I got into that, I really felt so free. And like I said, I created three junk journal pages. It's because I didn't have time to create more. Otherwise, I would have created more uh, because I was yeah so feeling it yesterday. It was so, so fun. So now I am adding this uh, plant doodle that I created and I wanted to connect the two pages together with it. So usually I do not put anything over the spine, but I thought I'm going to take the risk and uh, let's see if it will work out because it's pretty thin. So I thought maybe it will work out later on. We will see, uh, but I really wanted to connect the two pages together. So now I'm going in for more of these elements. I've added some of the doodly circles and some script uh, paint swatches uh, that I thought would be fun to collage with and layer things up with. So I'm just going for it and I'm going to add that as well and also that beautiful big butterfly. Thank you. 
Once I was done with the right side of the page, or pretty much done, I was trying to decide on what I wanted to do on the left hand side, but I also did, I wanted to journal uh, quite a bit about how I'm doing. So I didn't want to have uh, a big piece over there. You saw me try to use that <laughs> three by four card, but it was just too big. So I decided I go for these two paint swatches with scribbles. And I'm going to add some of these flowers to create more of a visual triangle between the two pages and connect them a little bit more. Uh, also, I'm going to add that flower in the top and I'm going to cut that off. And I always enjoy doing that because it creates more depth if you cut off your embellishments or let them go off the page. Uh, so that is what I'm going to do there with the yellow flower. And I think it really helps to connect the both pages together and let your eye go around my page. So I'm searching for some more words because I wanted to add some words in that painty scribble <laughs> swatch. And I'm going to add this is my happy place, me, myself and my journal. Because that is true for me and especially in this journaling session I had to remind myself that I love doing this and I love creating and stop putting pressure on myself. And it really, really helped me a lot. So I'm doing a lot better uh, at the moment. I'm also going to add a dually border with my white Posca paint marker because there are a lot of dually borders in this kit. So of course I had to add one to uh, my page as well. And I'm going in with some uh, alphabet stickers. So this kit is called Mixed Media Madness and I wanted to spell that out with these typewriter font letter stickers. Also because I thought it would break up the busy background a little bit and also create a fun title. And uh, these pages are also for me to document the kits that I create. So I thought it was appropriate to add the name. I also added my uh, date into that label. And now I'm going to add my journaling. So I'm journaling about that I am taking a little bit slower and that I'm feeling a lot better. I'm still not there yet, but some days are amazing and then some days are not. But it's it's all good. I, I'm working some projects away and I'm trying to find a good balance. So yeah, I'm, I'm just very, very happy with this spread. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did I would love it if you'd give me a thumbs up. I would also love it if you'd consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Put the notification bell on all notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. You can also become a patron of mine and get this kit. Link down below in the description box. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you all next time. Bye!